Hello, uh, discussing about cell cycle. Cell cycle, or which is actually known as a cell division cycle, is a series of events that takes place in a cell leading to its division and duplication. Actually, this happens only in eukaryotic cells, but while comparing with prokaryotes, the cell cycle occurs via binary fission. So we are not going to discuss about the prokaryotic type of cell division, but now we are discussing about the e what happens in eukaryotes. In eukaryotes, there the cell cycle actually divided into two periods. That is interphase, during which the cell grows, accumulating the nutrient need for the mitosis, and duplicating its DNA. And furthermore. Uh, this uh, the cell splits itself into two distinct cells that is the daughter cells and the final phase for cytokinesis uh, so here we are going to discuss uh, a in a brief way not again uh, not in a detailed manner so this is a cell cycle a brief introduction of it so that it will help you to study further in different textbooks so moving on to the next slide Yeah, so in this slide, we are talking about the cell division. There are actually uh, cell divisions. Why do we need a cell division? Proper cell division is actually needed mainly in eukaryotes for the continuity of life to maintain a con proper continuity of life. So, the cell division is, of course, required for that and for the ability of the microorganisms to re to reproduce the best that distinguishes living or things from the long living matter so it is also a part but not uh, so important so the cell divisions is also important for that basis and there are two types of cell divisions which as I have already told earlier that is a prokaryotic cell division and eukaryotic cell division in prokaryotes this is mainly done through binary fission but in eukaryotes this is uh, through a series of cell cycle which is we are going to discuss about it uh, so moving off on to the next slide eukaryotic type of cell division in eukaryotes there are two types of uh, normal cell division is occurs that is through mitosis and meiosis in case of mitosis it is the growth development and repair a type of accessory reproduction which geneti uh, yields genetically identical cells identical in the same way that it is two same similar cells and occurs mainly in the somatic cells this is very important that it occurs in mainly in somatic cells this is a basic uh, differentiation which gives the dif to differentiate with the meiosis where meiosis is a sexual reproduction where which yields genetically dif uh, different cells occurs in specific reproductive cells yields and leads to the yield of gametes that is eggs and sperms or sometimes spores too so we can easily differentiate between the mitosis and meiosis in this as you can see the clearly the pictures down below in a b c which is this normally the cell division occurring in eukaryotes that is which is clearly visible in the light one that is in the picture C so moving off to the next si slide uh, so in eukaryotic cell cycle it is divided into two phases that is the interphase and the M phase so creatively interphase is can be called as G1 phase, S phase and G2 phases and M phase which includes the cytokinesis 2 and mitosis. Mainly M phase is named uh, due to the mitosis, cytokinesis is a defined part and is the end of uh, after the full division of the cells. So moving on to the next slide. Here is the total cell cycle, how it occurs. So in cell cycle, we can see that uh, there is a gap. Also, this G is mainly uh, named due to this gap. 
G zero phase, which is a quiescent stage, that is, where you can say there is no division, that is, a s where the cell is totally in the stop mode, or a resting phase where the cells has left the cell cycle and has stopped dividing. Starting with the G one, the cells in the cells increase in size in G one and moves out to the checkpoint, which will go to the next slide and see that. Uh, the G, there is several checkpoints in the middle to check in the intermediate and so in this G1 phase it is a size increase in size in gap and whereas in A's phase there is a DNA replication occurs that is the synthesis phase in G2 during the ga there is a second gap phase uh, between the DNA synthesis and the mitosis, that is the M phase and the S phase, the cell will continue to grow and it will meet the second G2 checkpoint, which will come in the next slide. We'll see that one. And finally, the M phase, where the cell growth stops at this stage and the cellular energy is focused on the orderly the division uh, into two daughter cells. That is, leads to the complete cell division so we'll move to the next slide to see the checkpoints yeah yeah in cells like it is the interface which is mentioned the similar way that how the gap and the all the interface stages including the M phase so it's not in the mentioned the proper way that uh, yeah so it the M phase is also included. G zero phase, the resting phase where the cell cycle has left the cycle and stopped dividing. G one phase, the same increase in size. S phase for the synthesis. G two is a gap for cell. Cell will continue to grow. M phase stops cellular energy is focused on the orderly division of the cells. Moving out to this next slide. This is a checkpoint shown here. G1 checkpoint is a control uh, this is a control mechanism ensures that everything is ready for DNA synthesis. G2 checkpoint is a control mechanism ensures that everything is ready for enter the into the M phase and the meta phase checkpoint that is the M checkpoint ensures the cell is ready for the complete cell division. Here are the checkpoint is shown here. So the checkpoints G1 checkpoint to ensure that everything is ready for DNA synthesis. G2 checkpoint to ensure the synthesis of DNA is proper to enter the DNA synthesis and M checkpoint is cell is ready to complete the cell division. So it gives a clear mechanism in the next slide that it is if a cell receives a go ahead signal at the G1 checkpoint, the cell continues on in the ci cell cycle. But if the cell does not receive a go ahead signal at the G0 checkpoint, the cell exits the cell cycle and goes into the G0 non dividing stage. So it's the important part that uh, loss of the cell cycle control on cancer cells. In cancer cells, which from tumors, muscle cells, abnormal cells within the otherwise the normal tissue, if the normal cells remain in the original state, the lump is called the benign tumor. Cancer cells do not respond normally to the body's control mechanisms. So if the cell cycle, there is a loss in the cell cycle, there will be a lead to the cancer cells that is the skipping the G0 phase. Now the final entry into the M phase. M phase after the G2 interface the cell cycle. Yeah this is the early in the that is the prophase. This is the early mitotic where the early mitotic spindle is seen where the center uh, and this there is a chromosome consists of two sister chromatids and it's condensed you can see that 
the pro phase and next is the pro meta phase stage uh, you can see that uh, the spindle fibers are connected to kinetic kinetic cores and there are some as given as a non kinetic cord microtubules is not joined properly and and there is a nuclear nucleus get fragmented in the metaphase uh, there is a seed that the chromatids the, the chroma zones of the chromatids again in the small uh, in the one proper line that is the metaphase plate and in the next and the anaphase uh, there is a separation in two daughter chromosomes in the opposite pole you can see that it's going going to the opposite side and finally then the telophase and the cytokinesis the cleavage occurs and the nucleus uh, forming and this gives a furrow in between is also the shown as a cytokinesis there is a proper origin of pictures and compared with the below which hap actually happens the separation of nucleus the two separate nucleus you can see that and the cytokinesis finally occurs thank you uh, hope you liked it and for any questions or any sorts of thing any queries you can just send in our mail you can also contact through our website that is with the microwaves of ck so hope you like them thank you